Hello guys and welcome to this new video and today I'm gonna teach you how to play Cumans on Arabia or most land maps in general. Um, so Cumans have the ability to make a second TC in Feudal Age and they also have cheaper um, buildings. So you can play some early Feudal Age aggression and still boom in Feudal Age uh, behind it. So it's a bit tricky to play but if you play it correctly it's really powerful. So I'm going to do a build order, um, I feel like you can do it almost all the time and it's going to be an archer rush, like fast archers, into second TC and I'm going to explain you during the game um, the timing of the second TC. Okay, I don't know if you have seen, but um, some players do the second TC instantly and that's a big mistake. And why shouldn't you do it? Because you have no army, so you're going to take damage and um, you're going to be two ahead in villages without any army. With Cuban Boom, what you want to achieve is to be a bit ahead in terms of Figo, just a bit ahead. And if you are just a bit ahead, you should not die. You should be fine in terms of army. So, okay, we're going to try to find the right timing. And uh, yeah, let's start with the build order. I'm just going to put Explore so I don't have to explore the map and I can explain you more stuff. Okay, so like I said, we're going to try to reach the edge quickly to do some early feudal exploration. So we're going to do 18 pop. So 18 pop archers with Cuman. Uh, I suggest going archers because our goal will be to force skirmisher from your opponent. If you force skirmisher, um, it's really, really, really nice. Because skirmisher are not going to be a, a scary unit. Even if the opponent reaches castle edge, you, you're fine. Like you have a second TC and you're going to do um, cavalry with this unit anyway. So okay. We're going to do 18 pop. So... Uh, it's gonna be six on sheep, then we're gonna put two on wood, classic. Try to find a wood line where you are not gonna make the TC. Because I don't want to make the TC on the like, next to the lumber camp. So I want to make my TC here, so I'm gonna take this wood. So I can make like this wood with the lumber camp and then the TC on this one. So really important to scout your base properly. And if you don't know where to put it at this stage, just take the struggler trees. You have time. So okay, we will need two on uh, on wood. It's always two on wood when you just need um, the second building to go up. So we're gonna go up with lumber camp and mining camp. Um, I'm gonna start loading soon, but let's uh, pretend I didn't find my sh um, my deer yet. Okay, now we can take uh, the hunt. on wood if you don't know how to micro your wood lumber camp guys really important to check my uh, one of my first video in the channel how to micro uh, your wood line and uh, yeah you will understand why i put two on the same side oh shit okay happens it's okay we just killed the ship um that's some food wasted, but it's okay. We are still fo gonna focus on the hunt because it's collected faster. Okay, 12 population, I will need to make a house. And what I like to do is I like to do two houses even. So I'm gonna do two houses with this build and then it's gonna make the mine camp. So this guy is gonna make the mine camp, which would be my second building to go up. Like you don't need the two houses in Dark Edge, but it's just like it feels safer to do it. And the villager is already here, so why not do it? Okay, you can take the elephants and the rhino. And two more villagers and then we can pick up we said 18 pop. Um Okay, I think loading two deer is realistic, so I'm not gonna lure the third one. It's not something you can usually do in game. You have to scout your opponent. Okay, so we can click up after this build. Should be really easy to click up now. So for this kind of tight build order, always 
Your wallet to force up. Okay. I don't have the food in the bank yet, but I have so much food with my villagers. So we need to force up, and to force up, I will garrison them, like garrison all of them, so so they don't block each other or stuff like this. So I'm waiting until the last second, like 90 something percent, and then I will garrison. Because if I garrison too early, I will not get the food to click up. So I need my villagers to collect as long as possible before clicking up. So okay, like this. And okay, now we can click up. So that's for any quick build order. So now we will need the wood for a barrack and a range. Um, so I'm going to send more villagers on wood and we're going to stay on one lumber camp. Okay. I will have a second DC as a, sec as a second lumber camp soon. So okay, we need classic. We need more on wood. So I'm going to send... I think I'm gonna send um, I'm gonna send nine on wood. Yeah, I'm gonna send nine on wood. Because usually it's eight for one range archers, but here I'm gonna make a TC quite early. So, so nine on one lumber camp. It's a lot, but it's okay if you if you did a good job with your lumber camp at the beginning, it's okay. So we need um, the barrack. Then we need the range. Okay, they block each other a bit. We can spread them on more trees. Like here, it should be okay like this. Um, okay, I don't need that much gold for now. Um, I need the wood to make a range. I need 100 wood to make a range, by the way, with the sieve. So I got it now. So I can send some more gold now. We can do this, we will start with a spear, always start with a spear, wood upgrade, and it's like one range fast archers basically. But the only difference is that we are gonna um, make a second TC soon. So now I will have three on gold, that will be enough to produce archers, and um, I will have my spear. So my goal is to be aggressive as fast as possible and add my second TC. But this is a bit greedy in terms of eco to add the second TC. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a few farms before that because like I said at the beginning of the video I don't want to be too high in Nico. I still want some army and a decent castle time and um, so now I'm gonna yeah I'm just gonna do a few farms without Earth Scholar because my Nico is already going to be better than my opponent so I don't need to be too greedy with Earth Scholar. So what is realistic is to start warding with this kind of sieve. So my goal will be to be uh, aggressive because I played 18 pop, so that's a goal. And I can start making some farms with my villagers under the TC. So one SP on one archer is really good to keep your opponent at home. That's a really good thing. Like you will keep it, um, keep him busy, and that's perfect because you want to add a second TC. You are not going to spend too much resources into. Uh, army, so just uh, one range archers is enough. And here you could force some skirms, which would be insane. Like if the opponent goes skirms, that's perfect for you. Um, okay, I'm not walling too much because I need my second TC, and then I will wall. Okay, not taking too much risk with my army, just being a bit uh, annoying. But if the opponent is fighting, we just run away. So we keep sending on the berries. I like to have six villagers on berries when I play. And then we'll put the uh, right point on the straggler so we can make some farms. Keep creating archers. If the opponent is super, going super aggressive, you can make a blacksmith to, to get some upgrades. Uh, but usually you should be the one going aggressive with 18 pop here. So. Okay, a few more farms. I'm dealing my TC, I don't want to have it too early. Okay, let's pretend we lost the army. It happens. We're gonna try to be aggressive again. Not too aggressive, but just just uh, applying some pressure. Okay, I'm gonna keep creating archers. And my goal is to go for a second TC now. So I'm gonna stop making farms. I feel like I have enough farms. Eight is a good number. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go for a second TC soon. So I can take the straggler. I will just stop um, making farm and my wood count is gonna be going up really quickly. So if you have a spot like this with stone, this is perfect. 
Um, so you can start sticking the, the stone with some villagers because defensive towers are really good when you're humans. Okay, so now we have the resources to make the TC, so we'll do it. And we'll try to spend, send more villagers on it. Like 7 or 8 is usually a nice number. Um, and I want to go Castle Age as well. Like my second TC is just... Uh, gonna help me to produce some bills, some more bills, but my goal is to go Castle Age behind it. So I will need a second building, I will need some gold as well, okay. And I need to start walling. So let's wall a bit. Uh, we can wall with this hill as well. Um, so I'm just gonna leave the gold outside so I can show you like if you have an exposed resource. Okay, I see scums from the opponent, perfect. That's a reaction we wanna see. And uh, I still need some gold. Oh, I need a house as well. I still need some gold to go castle edge, lacking some gold. If you are getting attacked by uh, archers, you do a few skirmisher. But uh, yeah, you can stay a bit longer in feudal age if you need. But now my goal is to go castle edge with some walls and I have stone here. So I'm gonna take stone with three villagers. A white tree, because um, I'm lacking 25 stone to make a tower, so uh, that's three villagers taking stone basically. And uh, if you don't have stone uh, close to the TC, you just take three villagers, you take 10 stone with each, and you go back to the TC. Really important to do that. Okay, so I'm gonna be going up soon. I have a really nice eco on my two TC. And I'm going to make a blacksmith now because I need it to go up. And yeah, I can do my tower. Perfect. And honestly, nothing wrong can happen now. Because I have my tower on my second TC. I have walls. I'm really, really safe. And I'm going to have more villagers than my opponent. So, okay. I'm going to go up now. I could idle the TC a bit. Um, perfect. And I'm up. So now I need to keep adding farms, but I will wait for Oscola. I will wait for Oscola now. Put more farms, and these farms are gonna run out soon. Okay. We lost our army. So after Oscola, you can make a few farms. Oiko is not gonna be great to produce units, but we have. Two TCs and we have towers, that's the most important thing. If you are getting pushed, you can already do a workshop on the way, a siege workshop. With humans, you can do it. That's a great sieve for to defend. Um, keep adding some more farms. Um, and then I will add a stable because I want to go nice with this kind of sieve. You could do cavarchers as well, there are some situations where cavarchers is really cheap to go for because you don't need um, too many upgrades at the beginning. Like you don't need to take crossbows. Um, but yeah, I want a stable now. We'll just idle for a bit. And you can have an insane castle each time with 2TC, like, like I'm just having. Uh, we're gonna go for this one. Again, not being too greedy. I have more echoes than my opponent now. I just want to survive, so I'm gonna spend enough um, resources on the uh, army now. So you could do a camel if you're facing knights, you could do a knight if you're facing archers to clean them. You could do step lancers. If the guy is not doing anything, step lancers are good to raid. Uh, but yeah, and we already have two TCs and we'll have like around 10 more villagers than opponents, which is pretty solid. Yeah, I'm just doing a few knights and uh, I'm not going to be too greedy. Okay, I could remove my bills. I could do a tower as well if I'm get, uh, getting attacked by crossbows. And I'm go not going to be too biggy, I'm just going to stay on 2TC. I'm going to stay on 2TC because I already have more echo than my opponent. Now I want to use my um, extra echo to, to push him. Even echo upgrades, I can't afford them yet, so I'm not doing it. It's just Now it's mostly army. Like Cumin is one of the best sieve, if not the best sieve early Castle Age, like after the boom because you have more resources collecting than your opponent. So you really need to use it. So now we'll add another stable and we will keep adding stable, stable, stable. And the stables are cheaper as well with the sieve. We can add third stable even. And we can go full knights. Just full knight is great. 
Um, against other knights, you will win most of the time because you will have more knights. Uh, so yeah, you can just you can just spam now. If you need Manganols against the, um, against uh, potential crossbows, you do it. Okay, let's kick Orskola. Uh, I mean, not Orskola. Wheelbarrow before the knight spam. Wheelbarrow is really important when we have many farms. And now we are starting to have a lot of farms. So let's go Orskola. I mean, Wheelbarrow, my bad. And uh, yeah, now we can produce some tree stables even. Our eco is really nice. And this is how you play humans. And then with humans, you want to push in Castle Edge because your CV is not too good in Imperial Age, so you can go for a forward siege, you can go for um, a forward castle, you can do a lot of stuff. Anyway, let's check the timings. So 8.26 Feudal Age, that's 18 top timing, pretty good timing. Um, and then your castle age timing depends on how much army you will do, but uh, I'm sure you can get away with uh, what I did, like with just, um, just a tower, um, a TC, some walls, some archers, without any upgrade archers, but if you need to do more army, do just do more army. But the thing is, with this sieve, usually your opponents will try to go castle as fast as possible um, to push you. So you can apply some pressure if they are too greedy, like with some archers, and uh, you don't need too much army yourself. Uh, so conclusion, um, fast archer, 18 pop, so 2 on wood. Um, then we make farms, so I did 8 farms before um, I did 8 farm before the second TC. North color, don't be too greedy. And um, yeah, with this amount of farms, you can be Castle Edge at a really, really nice timing. You will almost not be delayed compared to a normal play on one TC, but you will have more villagers. Okay, I hope you guys like the video and I will see you soon. Bye bye.